see Gus coming. Well, that was a bit of excitement. A huge gust, followed by another gust. We took a lot of water over the side, and I thought we were going over. Hi, it's Paul from Sailing Kate Louise, down at Bobbin Head again. It's a public holiday. It's pretty busy as you can see. It's uh, Labor Day in New South Wales, which is a public holiday. We're still in lockdown, but I think uh, everyone's taking advantage of the good weather. It should be a nice day. It should be about 10 knots, hopefully. So we'll see how we go. Nice day to be on the water. Uh, isn't it gorgeous today? When I said it was like Pitt Street, I meant it. Predicted 10 knots this morning and 15 this afternoon. Um, it's always very sheltered down here, as you probably realised from my other videos, but uh, hopefully it'll pick up in a bit when we get round this bend, and then we can actually have a sail. I think it's been six weeks since I've been on the water last time. Uh, yeah, and it's such a beautiful day, everybody is out on the water, but it is a lovely spot down here. That's Bobbin Head. Uh, about an hour and a half north of Sydney in the current Guy National Park. There's a police boat. Smith's Creek behind me, and it'll be very popular today because of the weather's so nice. I'm gonna head up to Castle Bay, which I tried to get to last time, but there wasn't enough wind. But I think today there might be. It's uh, swinging around to south southwesterly. Um, so I should be able to run all the way up there. Anyway, beautiful day to be on the water, as I always say.
Just going past Cottage Point again. Wind's picked up a bit. Quite nice. Just had my tune on a roll. Very nice. So daylight saving in New South Wales started last night or this morning. So I've got an extra hour of daylight, which is good. Had to change hats because I nearly lost the other one twice when a gust of wind came. This one's got a strap, so that's a better idea. Also gives your neck a bit more protection from the sun. Because it is quite hot today, it's about 27 I think. Down there is Yeoman's Bay where I've stayed before. And just on the left behind that boat, the black hull, is uh, Castle Bay. That's right, Castle Bay. I've just pulled into this bay to put a reef on in the main. Just the first reef. A uh, couple of very strong gusts. And I've got to beat probably most of the way back. So I think it's a bit safer by myself just to have a, a reef in. So that's what I've done. I haven't dropped the anchor. Am I just sitting here nicely in this bay? Um, I have stayed overnight here before. I think this is, this is little shark bay. No evidence of sharks, mind you. It doesn't look horrendously strong, it's just the gusts are very sudden. Well, I was going nowhere under the headsail and the mizzen. It's very hard to point. Um, I still haven't mastered sailing with just the genara and the mizzen. Um, I'm sure there's an art to it, especially when they're attacking. Anyway, so I've put the main back up with a reef in, and it's uh, much more pleasant with a reef in. It's still some pretty strong gusts around here, and I'm going to have to tag all the way back, I think. Anyway, such is life. What I really miss though is uh, camping on the boat because we're not allowed to at the moment. Uh, sailing is counted as sport, um, but you're not allowed to stay on the boat overnight. So um, hopefully that will change in about two weeks time. I checked the other day, Mile Lakes. Now you remember I've been to Mile Lakes a few times, even on uh, paddling days on my places to paddle. I love Mile Lakes. Well, we had bushfires and then floods in January and uh, when they had floods the road to Violet Hill boat ramp got washed out because it's just a dirt road through the bush and where are we now October and they've only just rebuilt it and it's about 20 kilometers I suppose from um, from Bulladila so they basically have to regrade the whole thing which is a huge job sorry a boat just went past um, it's a huge job, but anyway, now that the road's finished, we can access that boat ramp, which is probably the best ro boat ramp to go to if you're in the Mile Lakes area. There's Causeman's Landing, which is uh, very popular with uh, water skiers, um, and there's not a lot of room to park your trailer, whereas at Violet Hill, there's quite a bit of room. So I'm hoping in the next Oh, three or four weeks to get up to Violet Hill at Mile Lakes and um, do a bit of sailing up there because it is nice and I've got some time off so um, if the weather's good, the wind's good, um, it should all be good, so to speak.
to say thank you to all those people that leave nice comments on my YouTube channel. Um, I try and reply to all of them, and lots of people do leave comments. And it's, it's nice to know it's nice to know all the effort I go to to make these videos is worthwhile. Because I don't uh, have to make any money out of it or anything. Gas coming. You've got, to, you've got to have your wits about you. I keep thinking, oh, maybe I should uh, throw the reef out, but uh, I don't know. It's quite a few gusts like that through these valleys. Yeah, I don't think I'll shake the reef out. Pretty close enough to tag. Well, I think the time's come to shake out the reef. And what can I say, this is where things started to go a bit pear-shaped. You've got to agree, when you look at the actual conditions, it didn't really warrant a reef. After all, the forecast said 15 knots, with gusts of 20 to 25. I tended to ignore the gusts bit and just carried on, hoping for a nice sail back to Apple Tree Bay. After all, I've sailed down here many times, so I thought I knew what I was doing. But as any woman will tell you, overconfidence can be a man's downfall. And it was definitely mine. Well, well that was a bit of excitement. Um, huge gust, followed by another gust, and took a lot of water over the side. Um, that's the most water I've ever taken, I thought we were going over. Um, but it rounded up nicely, but I now have oh, 50 litres of water in here. Um, I've taken both the sails down. The main got stuck at the top of the mast, I couldn't get it down, and then I saw something that freaks it. Um, so I've got both sails down now, and as you can probably tell, it's a howling gale straight into us. So, uh, I just managed to bail it all out. I've got a lot of it out, but there's a lot more to get out. These are a, a great idea for balers. Work a treat. I did actually have to lift up the floorboards to get uh, right into the bilge, but uh, I've got it all out. These floorboards come up. Here. These floorboards come up here the toggle and the centre bit lifts up so uh, yeah so no water got inside the cabin thank goodness um, that is the second time I've nearly gone over and with very little warning and it's always been down here where you just suddenly get a gust uh, and no matter what you do you can't round up quick enough so uh, yeah but at least I've discovered this waterproof camera is waterproof, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Interesting times. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. See you next time.